how far must we go to achieve the precision of the stars? At Omega, we begin where others finish. Because after our timepieces have been made, the quality is then independently tested. Nature itself and the forces of magnetism are the power behind Omega's Master Chronometer certification. Performed over 10 days, each watch faces eight of the industry's toughest trials. And if it doesn't reach the highest level of precision, it will never reach your wrist. We've raised our standards. You can too.
Look in all the dictionaries. There is no word for what we do. It's not tradition, though our craft is timeless. Limitless is too limiting. Enduring is not enduring enough. Innovation can only begin to describe it. We sculpt, paint, and explore. But explorers Sculptors and painters, we are not. This is the only thing we make, the only thing we will ever make. There is no word for what we do. There is only a way, the Rolex way. I have always felt like I was born with a nerve to follow my dreams and to be as bold as I could be in my actions, in my words every day to fight for that dream and my own vision. I would say me and Tudor see eye to eye when it comes to committing to our passion.
build, evolve, begin again. Creation demands patience. It rewards love. And to love, you first have to make. Creation inspires collaboration. Many hands, many minds. Seconds, minutes, hours. Precision, passion. The ability to find perfection in detail. In time, you create beauty. Since 1860 and 1913, Handmade in Switzerland, hand built in England. I chose it because A, it's comfortable to wear when I'm uh, riding. It's one of those watches that is uh, a strong, robust timepiece. These these trips I always look forward to. I always try and do it religiously every year. It's like a two or three day trip where we just are in the US and we ride out, whether it's uh, into the desert or you know around uh, woodlands. I love it. It's one of the favorite parts of, of actually riding, you know, spending time with friends being in nature. Very rarely do we get through a trip without breaking down in some way. So that's why it got knocked around. You're always kind of fiddling with the engines and, uh, and certain things on the bike. And when you're jumping in and out of rivers, washing, uh, cooking, making fires, carrying wood, you know, it gets knocked around a bit. And it's still working, looks better than ever. So that's, that's the reason why I picked this, uh, this watch.